Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Jenny AI. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we use Jenny AI here? Well, using Jenny AI is actually pretty easy and a straightforward process. So what we need to do first is we need to go to their official website, which is going to be Jenny.ai. Now from their website, you should be able to see different information about Jenny AI. So just to give an idea, Jenny AI here is a tool or an AI tool that actually helps you create your paper, maybe for research paper, uh, for different types of writing purposes. In this case, let's go and visit their homepage here. Now there are, or they are actually trusted by different universities that are well known, like for example, University of Oxford, Stanford University, and Penn University here as well. Now. In this case, what are the things that you could do here? Like for example, in-text citation. So in this case, you could actually uh, do research using Jenny AI here, which in this case uh, allows you to upload PDFs and cite in APA, MLA, IEEE, -E -E, Chicago, and Harvard style. You also have the AI autocomplete here. So for example, if you're writing something, it will all actually give you suggestions on what to write next if you uh, hang around for quite a while. In this case, if you're not writing anything and you're stuck, well, it would actually auto-complete auto the sentence or the paragraph for you. We also have the chat to your research. Now, think of Jenny AI here as a means of actually having an assistance. So for an assistant, so meaning you could basically talk to the AI itself and ask what, what are improvements that you could do on your paper, what are additional details that you could include as well on your uh, writing or your research here. Also have the jar from files. So I already have files or PDF files or any files that you want to base your research on. You could actually upload that via the platform itself. So obviously there's going to be a lot of you could do here like outline builder, multilingual support to support US, British, English, Spanish, German, French, and Chinese, which is something really helpful. So it's not limited to English only. Now, in this case, you should be able to start using platform itself. But in this case, what are the tests or what are, your, what are the uses of Jenny AI here? So you could actually use Jenny AI for essays, literature reviews, research papers, personal statements, blog posts, and even speeches. Now, if you're wondering what are what are frequently asked questions in Jenny AI here, so Jenny AI actually uses ChatGPT4, which is a great model for ChatGPT, which in this case, you'll be able to leverage the GPT4 model. Now, if uh, you might be wondering if there are citations that you can include into your research paper, well, in this case, it actually supports that, but for, for, for you to fully integrate or use that, you need to have an upgrade plan in Jenny AI. But don't worry, you can actually start using it, using Jenny AI for free if you have or if you create your account. So yeah, so how do we start using it? Well, at the very bottom, you have the start writing its free option or the top uh, at the top right here, you have the start writing option. In this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now, for you to start using the platform, you need to create your account. In this case, you can go and provide your details here, like for example, your full name, email address, and a password you want to use. Now, in this case, you can create your account manually here, or if you want to connect your account or existing Google account here, you can do this via the sign up with Google account option. But in this case, since I'm already or already have my account here, I want to log in using my Google account. And from here, let's go ahead and choose the option for my email here. In this case, let's just wait for it to log in. So. In this case, since we're just using the free account or the free version of Jenny AI here, there are certain limitations here. Like for example, there are or just there is actually an AI limit here, so you could only do 200 generations for this account here. But if you want to fully leverage Jenny AI here, you could go and click on upgrade here and basically choose either of the options here. You have monthly and we have the annual payment here. So in this case, it has unlimited AI generations, as Jenny AI assistant, and also unlimited citations. In this case, if you want to proceed, just click on upgrade now and uh, provide your payment details. In this case, how do we start using the platform itself? Now, in this case, before we start generating a new document or a research paper here, we first need to discuss what are the options or sections here at the top right. Now, the library section would contain uh, all the uh, citations that you have on your account. So for example, if you cited something, you should be able to see it in this uh, sec right section here, which is your sources. And if you want to uh, basically add collections of your sources here, you can go and do that by clicking new folders or importing to bibtex here, upload resources if you want to, or even create collections. 
Now, if you want to access the chat assistant here, you can go and click on AI chat here. And you can just basically ask Jenny here, which is the AI, uh, to ask your assistants. Like, for example, what are improvements that you could uh, basically add to your CGH paper? They would they will actually be able to assist you on that. So it works like chat GPT, but in this case, it's more tailored into writing paper. Now, you also have the settings icon here, which in this case, you can change the language itself. Like, for example, into Spanish, Chinese, or French, or German. Also, we'll have the autocomplete options if you want to leverage that. You should also have the show autocomplete buttons if you want to. And the citation style here if you want to change the citation uh, format. You also have the auto cite from new sources or auto cite from library if you want to allow that as well. But in this case, let's go and create our new project here. Let's go and click on new document. And from here, it should create a new document. It's going to ask you, what are you writing today? So just to give an example, maybe I'm writing about global warming. So let's just type in global warming here. And from here, let's go ahead and add additional. So let's just say instead of just global warning, effects of global warning and what we can do to uh, solve it. Now from here, let's go and click on start writing. Now in this case, it's going to actually help us start generating content or text for our paper here. As you can see, immediately since we added our title here, it's going to give you suggestions here. As you can see, it's going to auto write for us. So in this case, if you want to accept the suggested section here, you, you just need to click on the accept button. As you can see right now, whenever you hover over it, let's go and click on accept. Now from here, you could just place on press on enter here, and that would actually create a new paragraph. Again, it will automatically generate it, it generate everything for you in here. In this case, if you're not or if you're not satisfied with the generation here, you can go and click on the try again option. And then and from here it's going to generate a different text for that specific section. Let's go ahead and accept this one. Now in this case, at the very bottom you have the AI commands. So AI commands here is a great way for you to uh, basically command the AI on specific things. Like for example, if you want to ask them to write an introduction, write a conclusion, write a posting argument, or write with more depth. So let's just choose write with more depth here. And Jenny AI would actually attempt, attempt to help you on generating more content and more uh, text here for you for your paper. Now, if you want to accept this one, just click on accept. But if you want to tell them, like for example, uh, can you provide examples? You can just uh, go ahead and type that. In. So, for example, let's uh, provide some examples. And here, let's go and click on enter. Now, in this case. Uh, Jenny AI here would actually follow your rule or your command here, and they will actually generate examples here, as you can see right now. In this case, let's go and click on accept since we're good with this one. Now, you might be wondering, how do you actually re uh, organize your text here? Well, the great thing about Jenny AI here, as you can see, there's going to be a dotted icon here, which in this case, you can just press and hold on it and move it around. As you can see, I'm, I'm able to move it around. Now, in this case, whenever you click on the dotted icon here, you also have the option to make your text bold, uh, add links to it, even add italic or even uh, underline specific sections. So for example, maybe I want to uh, highlight a section here, solutions, you can add links on it or even make it bold. Now, in this case, if you want to cite something, you can go and choose the cite option here. So in this case, let's go ahead and add a section here. So let's go ahead and click on this one. Okay, here. So maybe I want to choose the cite section. So at the very bottom here, you have the same options. Now in this case, you have the option to cite a few things here, greenhouse gases here in 2018. So you could go and choose that. But again, for you to fully leverage this, you need to have the grid plan or the parent plan here for Jenny AI. So yeah, so that's how you start using Jenny AI here. But again, there's going to be some limitations that already so with this was simple uh, account here that I have, or free account I have, are my limit is already uh, reach is 200 over 200. Now you need to upgrade your plan if you want to fully utilize this. Now if you're done, you can go ahead and click on the export at the top right of the screen to either download your document here, maybe in Word, HTML, or copy to your clipboard and paste it manually on a specific document. So yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.